This video is brought to you by CatBeast.com. Design your own custom snapbacks and hats. On the last episode of Dragon Ball Super, we got a look into each fighter from around the multiverse. However, for whatever reason, they didn't show Universe 3 or Universe 4. And although it wasn't a big focus of the latest episode, the Universe 3 fighters have been shown and they're looking good. The God of Destruction over there is a robot and from what they show, it's this really high-tech place and all the fighters from Universe 3 will be these customized robots. There's this one character who isn't a complete robot but he does have the modifications all over his body. His name is Negrishi and to put it simply, he is the Goku of Universe 3. They call him Universe 3's greatest modified warrior and basically what he's going to be doing is working on 9 other super machines that will be designed to fight perfectly within the rules of this tournament. So they're all going to be machines or at least heavily modified people. Universe 3 seems to base itself around tactics over being specifically strong. These robots they've designed will all be modified to fight in a battle royale, so already Universe 3 has a major one up over its counterpart, which is Universe 10. Aside from the Universe 3 fighters though, Episode 92 was based around two other things, and that is finding a replacement for Majin Buu and the Universe 6 Saiyans. Starting with the Universe 6 Saiyans, a new piece of information was dropped on how the original Super Saiyan form works. As Kaba is teaching Khalifa, he says that to become a Super Saiyan, you need to focus the energy from around your back. Before now, that was never a thing. The Super Saiyan transformation was generally assumed to come from anger and rage. But Khalifa starts focusing the energy in her back and before she even knows it, she's got a new form. Khalifa then asks Kaba to teach Kale to become a Super Saiyan and that will be the focus of the next episode because there is a very iconic scene in the preview that pretty much shows that very soon the legendary form will be awoken once again. The rest of this episode is all about the Universe 7 fighters. Hercule explains to Goku that usually Majin Buu only sleeps for one second but anytime he sleeps longer than a second it will take around two months for him to wake up. Now, you could have easily thrown Majin Buu into the time chamber and wait, but they made it very clear that Majin Buu was staying asleep when Vegeta, for the second time, destroyed the hyperbolic time chamber. So when Goku gets back to tell everyone that Majin Buu can't wake up, something incredible happens that I really should have seen coming. The entire Universe 7 team minus Majin Buu is there, and as they're talking about the tournament, they realize that there is no prize, and Goku has been keeping the world's biggest secret. Krillin walks up to Goku and says, you know, why didn't you tell me that I'm fighting for my life in my universe? And it's almost an emotional scene because Goku should have at least said what they're fighting for. So Krillin, because of this, really isn't going to enter the tournament. And Goku's just there pleading with him. And for the first time in 25 episodes, Beerus steps in as the God of Destruction and says to Krillin, you're entering the tournament or you're getting killed. And as you would expect, Krillin's back in the team. So now that they cleared that up, there is still only nine fighters. They need one more and it's coming next week. The return of Frieza once again. Again, Beerus says something that reminds Goku of the man himself, and with that, that is where the episode ends. The next episode preview is showing some of the Universe 4 fighters, but more importantly, Frieza is joining the team. And whenever Goku and Frieza meet, it's always good. Goku usually becomes a lot more cruel around him, and Frieza does the same. But yeah, let me know what you think of Dragon Ball Super Episode 92. Again, another solid episode. I want to thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next Dragon Ball video.